when I think about your question, which I would reword as what, what's the pharmacy of insights, you know, that a team needs, you know, Vivian talked about what that pharmacy of insights might look like for an M&A team, but I'll add two things. I'll add a historical perspective and a more futuristic challenge perspective. I think about what insights teams have needed and what they are going to need. I think as I think about all the teams that I have um, that I have participated in, that I have led, um, and also that I have um, had the pleasure of coaching, in the past the insights that they have needed have been so much um, linked to the where and why of the organization. Like, help me to understand where the organization is going. Help me to understand why it's going there. And then I can start to figure out what I need to do um, in order to build the plan for, for example, the next six months, you know, or to kind of to, to, to drive business however we see it. That's been a really past perspe- good, good past perspective. And I think that all of our data analysis tools, uh, and because keep in mind, this event is connected to measure the impact or or, uh, um, help people to understand the insights, right? But I think so much of then how we try to help people to understand that is through measuring engagement. Because when you're engaged in the big picture, the where and the why of an organization, you have more energy to be buzzing around your, your work at hand. I think that's a really good past perspective. But I think that the pharmacy of insights for teams is changing. Yeah. And I think that it's changing because it's it's uh, so many teams are now being asked to think through how do we help our business grow? There are growth challenges, and that means pushing and pulling on innovation. And so the pharmacy of insights has less to do with where are we going and why are we going there, but there are insights around what skills do we need as a team in order to define new work and new ways of working that work, because that's the only way to innovate. And that innovation is the way to start to bring growth to our organizations. So those are the big changes that I see from a historical perspective on the pharmacy yep. of insights that teams need, what they did need, how we how we worked with them then. And I believe the, the push that we're getting based on where they're going in the future. Right. They need clarity on That's right. how do we how do we innovate? Our pharmacy of insights has to help them to understand how to do that work. Yeah, no, absolutely. And I think this points to the whole you know, the whole notion of focusing on the content, um, you know, for leadership and leadership teams. Right. Mm-hmm. Uh, so the whole idea that at, at Rejuvi, you know, we, we talk about this or we refer to this as Rejuvi superfood. It's like, you know, um, how do you how do you introduce tools and measurement frameworks and methods and practices that really pinpoint that ability to measure your activity or your your behavior or your intervention to the business outcome, and that's what yes. we refer to as our superfood, right? Right. Yes. It's like, and I don't know if that's what you were you were you know saying that the pharmacies of the future, the pharmacy of insights, it's all about this ability to be so mindful and mm-hmm. so precise that when I pull lever A, B, and C of my leadership impact. Then mm-hmm. I do. Then I do push on the results. You know, D, E, and F for the business. 